High Energy Extracorporeal Shock Wave Therapy is effective in treating myofascial pain syndrome. Myofascial pain syndrome is one of the typical causes of pain in people with muscle weakness or other underlying degenerative conditions. Research studies have shown that extracorporeal shock wave therapy has been effective in reducing the pain in patients suffering from myofascial pain syndrome. Another study demonstrated that electromagnetic devices also alleviate pain in myofascial pain syndrome in the upper trapezius. However, the energy level of extracorporeal shock wave therapy at which the pain relief is maximum and helps in clinical improvement has not been determined. The main goal of the study was to determine and compare the efficacy of high and low energy extracorporeal shock wave therapy in patients having myofascial pain syndrome in the upper trapezius. Patients who had a confirmed diagnosis of myofascial pain syndrome in the upper trapezius muscle, a typical referred pain pattern, pain onset within three months, and pain related to the ipsilateral shoulder and neck regions with verbal numeric pain scale score of four or more were included in the study. Patients with severe diseases like heart or liver disease, severe psychiatric problems, systematic rheumatic disease, neurologic disorders such as cervical radiculopathy or stroke, presence or suspicion of infection, patients using a pacemaker and pregnant or breastfeeding women were excluded from the study. A total of 30 patients were included in the prospective, randomized, single-blinded pilot study. The subjects were divided into two groups to receive high-energy extracorporeal shock wave therapy at 0.210 mJ per square millimeter or low-energy extracorporeal shock wave therapy at 0.068 mJ per square millimeter. The outcome measures assessed were verbal numeric pain scale, neck disability index, neck range of motion, and pain threshold. A significant improvement was seen in the verbal numeric score when the patients were treated with high-energy extracorporeal shock wave therapy. The improvement in the neck disability index was higher in the patients treated with high-energy extracorporeal shock wave therapy than in patients treated with low-energy extracorporeal shock wave therapy. The neck flexion range of motion was higher in the patients treated with high-energy extracorporeal shock wave therapy compared to the patients treated with low-energy extracorporeal shock wave therapy. The study indicate that patients treated with high-energy extracorporeal shock wave therapy for myofascial pain syndrome in the upper trapezius had a significant improvement in the overall neck functioning than when treated with low-energy extracorporeal shock wave therapy.